What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Jamel Munger back again with another video, man. Um, uh, got some parts in. I'm gonna flip the camera. I'm gonna show y'all right now. Let's go. All right, so I got my stainless steel trans dipstick. It's pretty smooth, man. I'm gonna put the link in the description if y'all want to get it. It's like 18 bucks or something. Hose clamps for the uh, trans cooling lines. Uh, I was supposed to get this in black, but they messaged me on eBay and was like, yeah, we out of black. So they gave me red, which is cool. Um, maybe it'll like go with the brake calipers or something. Um, who knows? These are some fittings that I got. I hope that they go inside of the 700R4 transmission. And then I could just do my AM fittings to the trans cooler. Uh, as this video is uploaded, I haven't got a trans cooler yet. I've been looking at one on Jags. But I also been trying to just get something like right now. So I might go get one from O'Reilly's or something. But uh, y'all drop in the comment section. Do y'all think I should get one from O'Reilly's or get one from Jags? And I know most of y'all probably say Jags, but just let me know. Just want to see what y'all think. But yeah, there's the fittings. I think it's like these both of these fittings together were like ten bucks. Also, the link in the description. I do not know what this is, but it came with a dipstick. It's probably something that goes at the top of that or something like that. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. But right now, I'm going to attempt to put these on. I'm going to try to take y'all with me. I'm on my lunch break. Um, I only got like, well, I only took a 30-minute lunch break. So I'm going to see if I can get these on in 30 minutes. I got some plumbing tape. Uh, so I'm going to figure out uh, which side goes where. I'm pretty sure this goes in the transmission. I don't know yet, though. But we're going to see. Let's go. All right, so we outside. I got my plumbing tape and my fittings. Uh, so this is where we're going to be working at the, today. Those two fittings are there. Hopefully, I can get to them. I really was supposed to do this before I put the transmission actually in. But, um, dang, I'm sorry, you two. I probably didn't even show y'all. I got everything buttoned up with the cross member, the transmission mount, and, um, yeah, everything is buttoned up. I can't remember what, where I left off there. I did, I know I uploaded a video saying that the trans was in, but this cross member was giving me a little uh, issue. I did end up flipping it around and massaging the floors over there a little bit. Um, Cause I had to flip it around. Initially in my cross member video, I had this small hump on the driver's side. And when I had it up there, it just was misaligned. Like the transmission was way forward. And this was like, there was no way that that, transmission uh trans mount was going to get into that hole so i ended up flipping it around and you know what i'm saying with a little bit of elbow grease and some massaging it went in shout out to all those uh other people who did it on youtube before me man it really helped out a lot because i was a little confused i'm like dang like is this transmission wrong is the crossing wrong but you know what i'm saying with youtube university i was able to get it figured out and a little bit of muscle we got it in so like i said uh, i'm gonna just try to get these fittings off i really should have did this before i put the trans in but uh it's all good we're here now i won't complain um uh, yeah um last night i discovered that the bnm shifter cable um i don't know if that's gonna work with this 700 offer i'm pretty sure it is i just got to do some more research on the little um the gear adjuster like part reverse neutral drive i got to figure out uh, what piece I need for that because I, I do want to keep that B&M shifter though It's four feet. You really only need three feet It is a little bit annoying that I got a lot of excess, but um, I do want to keep it. I like it. It's red uh, If I had to I probably end up buying another one and then just swapping it out Just so I can have everything how I like how it truly supposed to be and not court, cut no corners or whatever But I'm not gonna talk your head off. Like I said, I'm only out here for about 30 minutes. The video might be longer, but really, right in reality, I'm only out here for like 20, 30 minutes. So I got to go eat lunch and everything. But I'm grinding, man, trying to squeeze in some content for y'all. Because I, I love my subscribers, man. Y'all keep me going, for real. So enough of that. I'm about to just get cranking on this. Uh, I'm going to try to record. If I can't, I'll just show y'all my progress here and there. I bet. So I do remember I did loosen them up uh, before I put the transmission back in. So... Boom, that's one of them. Hopefully I can get this one as well. I really shouldn't have bent these lines. I should have just snipped them off at the tip. But uh, it's all good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it out regardless. All right, YouTube. So I got both of those old stainless steel lines out. And now I've been messing with these new ones. 
trying to think. So I gotta twist it this way. I need to tread to come back this way. I ain't used this joint in a minute, so I don't even know if it's any good, but I'm gonna try. Bada boom, bada bing. Ooh. Get one line up there. Went straight into the train, no problem. Yeah, good, y'all can see it. First one went in there, no problem. Got the tape on it, I feel good about it. We're gonna knock out this next one. Let's get it. Two, got both of them in there. I'm gonna try to tighten them down. Turn this exposure a little bit. I'm gonna try to tighten them down a little bit. Not too tight, but you know what I'm saying? Just tight enough. Cause right now I just hand tighten them right in. But uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, YouTube fittings in. About to fill this trans up with the trans fluid. This is what I got. It was, I ain't gonna say it's the, it was the cheapest, but I think it was actually the cheapest, but I don't know if it's like a, it was like the other brand. It was only two brands on Raleigh's. It's like a Vaveline. The Vaveline was like four more extra dollars, but I mean, it's just transmission fluid. I don't really know if it makes a difference, but this is what they said. So this is what I got. I'm about to throw all this in there. And then we'll see what happens next. I gotta stay tuned, man. Leave a like, a comment, please. And subscribe, man. I'm working, doing all this for y'all, man.